Welcome, welcome to Detroit. And thank you. Um, just what do you see when you look at this roster and the new, new opportunity that's in front of you? I'm excited. Um, you know, it's a new, you know, new start. Um, you know, we got a lot of young guys on this team that, you know, they play play hard every night. You know, the, the couple times that we played them um, when I was in SAC, uh, you know, they play play hard. So that's something that I that caught my attention, and I'm super excited about you know finally uh, being a part of, and I can't wait to get this thing rolling. What do you see as kind of your role? Have they talked to you about, I mean, just obviously what they want you to do? Uh, just be myself. Uh, you know, just be be who I am. Um, play hard, bring energy. Um, you know, play block shots, take charges. You know, offensively, just play, let the game come, score, whatever it is. You know, just, just be me, play hard as I possibly can, and uh, be able to look myself in the mirror after the game and, and, and know that I, that I left it all out on the floor. You know, that's my only goal, you know, coming into the next, you know, few games that we have in, uh, left in this season. Marvin, welcome to Detroit. Uh, Appreciate it. The athletic. I was curious, what were, you, what were you doing when you heard about Detroit? I actually was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, time difference. Uh, it was about like eight in the morning. Yeah. And uh, my, phone, my phone rang and it was my agent. And he told me the deal was getting close. And, um, you know, just hang in there. And, uh, you know, about 20, 30 minutes later, you know, it was official. It was it was out on Twitter, and uh, they called me back and told me that it was uh that that it was done. And um, you know, I was excited, man. Uh, you know, I was excited. You know, I felt like a a weight was was uh, taken off my back. I felt like I could just you know breathe and, and just have fun playing basketball and and uh, just being in a new environment, new facility, new teammates, you know, new faces. Um, I think that's that's what I needed, and uh, to finally you know get that is a uh, you know, I, I'm going to make the most of the opportunity. And, and people that may not have paid attention to, to what you've done at SAC so far, I mean, you've averaged 14 and 7 over your career, um, and your ability to score the ball has been there, and that's why they liked you so much, too, coming into the draft. What do you think has been, like, one of the biggest misconceptions of, of your career so far to this point? Um, I think a big misconception is uh, uh, people I've, – I've heard a lot of people say I'm not a, I'm not a team guy. Not, you know, I don't do well with my teammates. Um, you know, people people talk about defense. People, you know, people always have something to say. Um, but if you ask any guy that I've ever played with or I'm, I'm around, um, they don't have one bad thing to say because um, I try to get to know every every one of my teammates, no matter what situation I'm in. Uh, I try to be coachable. Uh, I'm just trying to learn and get better, man. You know, just being. And I, like I said, that's why I'm excited to be able to be in a new situation where I can start fresh and start clean and, and you know, build um, something special here. Uh, I'm super excited about that. But, you know, to be able to be with this group of guys is going to be it's going to be fun. Appreciate you. Um, Dwayne Casey has been known as somebody who's been able to help kind of, I guess, jump, not jumpstart, but I guess take somebody from a different perspective and, and give them another chance. So what has been your impression of him in the, the few days that you've been here so far? Um, well, I met him. I met him the first uh, first night I was here. Um, uh, and, you know, finally being on the court with him today and, you know, him coaching me. He helped me, he helped me out a lot today. Um, you know, he was talking me through the offense, uh, you know, just making sure that I knew what I was doing. And all the coaches, you know, were helping me out today, you know, with it being my first practice. Um, you know, I picked up a, a, on, a, on a few things already. You know, I'm still, still learning. You know, it was a lot thrown at me today. But, you know, I'll get there. And I'm, I'm excited about, you know, like I said, the opportunity to be here and being able to, you know, start and, and just build on it. Last one for you, Marvin. I think your grandfather was drafted by the Pistons. <laughs> yeah. Has he talked to you about the city? I mean, it's obviously much different now than then, but have you talked to him about Detroit? Um, not much. I've heard, I've heard him talk about it. Um, you know, he was, he was drafted here, number two pick. Uh, and uh, it's, it's, it's just crazy how it come, comes back around. Uh, <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, he, he, he was here, and, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited to be here and, and, you know, be able to have something in common with him when, I, when, I, when I'm at the dinner table yeah. talking to him. And, uh, you know, hopefully now we can share, we can share Detroit stories together and uh, get to, you know, get to know, know more about each other's uh, situations here. Appreciate it. One, one more for me, too. I so much talk about the expectations in your draft class and, and obviously where you were picking the talent that you brought in. How do you kind of deal with that criticism and, and people always talking about that sort of thing? 
Um, I can't control that. Um, that's something that uh is out of my hands. You know, really the only thing I can control is you know what I the work I put in. You know the the what I'm doing you know, every day to, to make sure I'm getting better. That's really my only focus. Um, that's really been my only focus. You know, people are going to talk, say this and that, you know, in the media, but I'm just here to have fun and play basketball, man. That's that's my only goal and, and getting back to the love of the game and, and having that that passion to, to, to play. And um, just being out here with this, this young group of guys, that's the only thing I'm I'm um, I'm focused on. So I'm, I'm excited about it. And I, uh, I can't wait to, you know, finally get the, the game one. Uh, under my belt, so. Marvin, we're gonna take a few through Zoom. Keith, go ahead. Hey Marvin, it looks like you, you've you split your time a little, fairly evenly between center and power forward in Sacramento. And, and I don't know if you know enough about the role you'll play here to know um, exactly how you'll be used, but it, based on what you saw from Coach Casey today and in practice, do you have an idea of, of the role they envision for you here right now? Um, like I said, they, I'm, I'm just going to play, man. They, you know, they're telling me to just, you know, just come out and play hard, compete. Um, you know, I was at the four a lot in practice today, but who knows, you know, you know, what, what coach has in store, what he, what he's, what he's got planned. Um, but I'll, I'll be ready for whatever. Uh, I'll be ready for whatever he, he, he throws at me, um, whether it's new or not. Um, I'm going to figure it out and learn it and, you know, you know, put myself, you know, up to speed with the group uh, as, as quick as I can, um, the best as I can. So, um, like I said, I'm just going to show up, do my best, work hard. And, um, you know, like I said before, look myself in the mirror at night and, and know that I gave it all I got. And um, if I do that, then I can't really, you know, worry about everything else. Thank you. Uh, Omari from the Free Press, go ahead. Hey, how's it going, Mar uh, Marvin? Uh, Marvin Sakop in a second with the Detroit Free Press. Uh, just what's your impression of your your new teammates? Uh, you know, of course, uh, the Kings have played the Pistons a couple of times this season. Just when you look at Cade, Killian, uh, Isaiah, Sadiq, just what have you seen from these guys? Oh, they play hard. Uh, every game we played against, uh, every time we played against them, they play, they play very hard. You know, they get up and down. Um, that, like I said, that's one thing that really caught my attention was how hard um, – Everybody plays, and now that I'm a part of it, it it's exciting, you know, because I like to play like that, I like to get up and down and, and just have fun and uh, just play basketball. And I'm, I'm excited to finally do that with this with this group, and um, I'm, I'm ready to get going. Uh, Mike Stone, go ahead. Yes, uh, Marvin. Uh, I know you guys played a year apart, but uh, your relationship with Frank Jackson and what did he have to tell you? Um, I saw him. Uh, I saw him when I first got here. Um, it's always love, you know, when you see a new guy um, a year apart, same year. Um, you know, it's always love. You know, when you when you can be on the same team as as, as somebody you you know you share a bond with. So. Uh, you know, it's, it's been it's been good so far. I'm looking forward to you know get to, to you know to get to know uh, him and, and the rest of the and the rest of the guys more. But um, it's been great so far. 